Another edition of the Big Fantastic Show. As per usual, myself, Mr. Fantastic, and Big Mike himself. Welcome to the show, Mr. Big Mike. Absolutely fantastic, Mr. Fantastic, as, <laughs> as usual. As usual. Tonight, we're going to elaborate on a previous episode that we had uh, called Are Leaders Born or Are They Created? So I remember we had a very different take on it. I said that leaders are born, and you said leaders were created. And, and, and of that discussion, we were prompted by our viewers to unpack that a little bit more to understand if you are a born leader or a created leader. So, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I, still, I still believe that you know, leaders are born, but I understand your point of view. I know we had a backdoor discussion on this and we had some prompts, as you said, from the listeners that uh, actually leaders are created. So there might be a combination of both, don't you think? Absolutely. Absolutely, I think it is totally that. It's a combination of both, and it is on which side you develop the most that will bring forth your style of leadership. Mm. So let me just try and make that clear. So if you were born into a situation, let's say you were born into royalty, you'd automatically be thrust in a leadership uh, profile or situation, and then obviously you assume that leadership role. Whereas most of us, I suppose, we go through and we develop our leadership abilities as we go through life. Absolutely. Absolutely. You see, you, as you said, you're thrust in the situation based on your background and the expectation that's laid upon you. So most people become a, a servant, manager, and ultimately, hopefully, graduate to a leader. Yeah. So, you know, also the question is, how do we... Just how do we distinguish uh, um, leaders? I mean, you know, when do you become a leader? Because I understand that when you are kind of going through your cycle of development uh, as, uh, as, as sort of moving towards leadership as such, uh, we, we, we find ourselves developing the, the, the sort of experience and the skills, the education, uh, and we develop our personally in terms of our temperament and our character uh, so that you move from... Uh, fr from the beginning stages as fairly unskilled person to supervisory level manager and you then obviously bring those skill sets forward when you're developing your team um, and, and you know in terms of transferring that knowledge and guiding your your team in terms of mentoring and coaching that's exactly I think I think you you have unpacked it um, very nicely the main thing here is that you were always as you develop, you, you are expected to manage. Manage system, right. manage procedures, manage policies, etc., etc. Always very good guidelines. But at some point in the organization, you come to a level where it's about motivation, about values, mm. about uh, a selfless leadership style, upbringing and upbuilding the people around you. Mm where it's expected of you not to be a manager anymore, but to be a leader of people. Mm. And that's a difficult transition, I right. believe. It is. I suppose you need a good support system for that. Um, one of the listeners actually sent in a, a, a mail and uh, said that leadership, you know, leaders' responsibility when you're moving from that manager to leadership um, figurehead as such, but the leadership's responsibility is to develop leaders. Uh, I feel a bit different about that. What, what is your take on that? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that the, the, the total responsibility is to develop leaders or develop people. I think it's more about allowing the space for a comprehensive development of the individual. Because you could sit with, with employees that doesn't necessarily fit into the organization. It doesn't mean that they don't have the ability to become great leaders in other areas or other businesses. So I think it's more about allowing the space and, and having the skill set to understand and analyze employees individually so that you know who you can deal with in what, in which way. Okay, yeah, no, that, look, that makes a lot of sense to me, of course. It's really to identify or uh, appreciate 
the whole work, appreciate yeah yeah the whole workforce um, on an individual basis and then allowing the space as you say to tap into and just unleashing the full potential of that individual and that's what it's about it's about bringing out the potential and then using that potential yes. uh, in alignment with your uh, with with your expectations as well as the individual's expectations so great discussion I'd like for the viewers to obviously continue engaging with us. We are available. The details are at, at the bottom of the screen. Yes. Please feel free to give us a call, uh, send an email, uh, and uh, as well as contact us on Facebook or via our website. All the details are at the bottom. We are there, available for you to engage, to facilitate, give us a shout, and see how we can facilitate your staff to better leadership. We'll chat to you then. Thank <laughs> you.